I'm Tolu David and I welcome you once again to our YouTube channel, Meet the Tolu David. As you can see, this edition is a very special edition. And why is it special? Because it's a special year. Year 2019 is a special year to all Nigerians, both home and abroad. Why is it special? It is a year where we get to make decisions that will decide how we live the next four years of our life. We make the right decisions we enjoy it. We make the wrong decisions, we pay for it. We've been we've been independent for about 58 years now, and our life still looks like someone who is yet to be independent. We are dependent on so many other countries. Um, I don't want to go too much into that, but let me introduce someone very special that will be discussing with me on this show today. Someone very special to me, someone very dear to me. He's a brother, he's a friend, and he is someone who has experienced the struggle in Nigeria and he knows what it looks like, what it feels like to pay for our wrong decision making in such a year as this. Please welcome with me on this stage, Bro Nusa Enuse. You're welcome, brother. Doing, bro? I'm good, sir. I'm good, sir. Um, so, let me ask. I love his my people. Don't mind his young face, he's, <laughs> he's just blessed. Um, Bruno, sir, um, what are your expectations for this year 2019, especially when it concerns elections in Nigeria? 2019, I expect people to wise up. It's the year we have to take our country back, you know, so there's no going back to the old ways. Mm. We need to move forward. Enough of old ideas, enough of failed promises, mm. enough of lies. Mm. We need our people to progress. We need our students to be able to afford school. We need our older people and young people to afford social amenities. These are all the stuff we lack in, back in Nigeria. I've lived there for many years. Mm. I know how things work here in America. So we need to live that life. With the kind of lifestyle we live here, with all the social amenities yeah. we need it in our own country. Yeah, if we have that in our country, we have no reason going to Anonymous lines yeah. and all and all that. So we need to promise our youths a good life. We need to be able to fulfill those promises. And we need a young, vibrant leader who knows it all. We are seeing it all. That's what we need right now. All right. Um, I I, I got to know you while you were still living in Nigeria, and I know you were also in the struggle and. Um, those who know you then and now will know that there's certainly a difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, recently as well, when visiting Nigeria, yes. and I know you've been in America for about over five years now. Now, comparing the way you left Nigeria and the Nigeria you met while you were on the visit last year, do you think we've been progressing? Do you think we've been moving backward? Or do you think we're still remaining on the same spot? Because um, I can remember about four years ago, if I'm right, or three years ago, some people came in power, promising change. Do you think that change is being effective, or do you think it is the, the change they actually mean is something else? I, I just want you to compare the Nigeria you left and the Nigeria you met. It's not. It's not the same. Oh, you honest. mean not the same? Like it's better? I mean, it's not better. Oh, it's, it's worse. Hmm. I mean, I remember how much I spent in buying some free stuff back then, it's like quadruple. My God. So people are hustling over there, you know. The last time I visited, I was in the cab and I asked the driver, hey, 
how come people are not smiling? Everybody is so stone faced and all that, they're not happy. I said, man, my brother, that's how we see him. I can see that. You know, I felt strange in my own country. Mm. You know, driving through the streets. I then I started memories started coming back. You know, I remember back in the days when I used to also for to go to work. Mm -hmm. The salary I was making, I was earning, was not even enough to take up my transport That's for the month. Not to talk of feeding or doing some or extra, extra stuff. And all that. So life there is hard, and the Nigerian youth are hard working. I mean, they have so many ideas. Well, but the president said they're lazy. Forget about that president. <laughs> he has old ideas, analog brain. Digital old generation. I'm telling you, man, you don't need those ideas. Wow. How can you open your mouth and say, hey, yeah, man, I can use a lazy. What, what, who does that? What, what leader talks like that? Um, you know? all, all right. Um, in the election, we are going to witness because a lot of us won't be privileged to travel back to Nigeria to um, engage ourselves in the election process. But we will be following it very closely from America here. Um, we have about some presidential candidates. Okay. We have um, the incumbent president who's also running for the second term, which is um, President Muhammad Buhari. Yeah. We have um, the once vice president, um, uh, yeah, Atiku, and we have so many other young chaps coming up, the likes of um, we have uh, Pedro Toye, we have so many of that, um, Mugalu and all that. Do you, who, who do you think, let, let me ask this question this way, who do you think would win and why? Or who do you think should win and why? Okay, I would say because of the power of incumbency, mm -hmm. if they influence the incumbency the president has, mm -hmm. I mean, you, know, you might say they can win. Okay. But that's on paper. Okay. But well, who do you think should win and why should you win? The only candidate that is credible and is, he has no blemish. The only person I see is I'm only being sure. I'm only really sure. That's the only guy that has the ideas to take us to the next level. Right. That's the only guy that has the idea to take our country back. Do, do, do you think? Supposed to be. Do you think that is related to his age? Because if it happens to be his age, we have the likes of other young guys like Pera, Rutoye. We have so his many. Age? Yeah, do you think it's related to his age or do you think there's something besides the age? Anybody that talks about age in this modern age, he lives in the analog age. Mm. Look at the Prime Minister of Canada, Trudeau. Is he, is, he, is he an old guy? No. Look at the Prime Minister of France, young guy. So what, what are you talking about? Age has nothing to do with leading the country. It's your ideas. Okay. Uh, um, we should stop talking about, oh, he's not too young, he has no experience. Yeah. Damn those experiences. What experience has are we, um, what what are we gain from the experience that our current leaders have? Mm. The same old, old experience, old implementation of stuff. They go outside the country, they see how things work, how the country is run over there. They come here, they cannot do the same thing. Imagine, we call ourselves giant of Africa, or giants. Remove the G and I from the so, giant. Oh my God. Some yeah. countries are not even up to our population. They have our resources. They are way better than us in terms of power supply. Mm. That should be an old school matter in our country. Mm -hmm. Imagine Nigeria having constant power. You know how the industry will spring up? Mm. You know, a lot of you have jobs. Come on. They can do this. Okay. You know? Yeah. Let, let me ask this question. Um, You're saying. Uh, Omoye Shure should be the best yes. candidate. But um, we've seen YouTube videos and all that. People asking about um, Omoye Shure. do you know him? A lot of people actually don't know this guy. Why do you think it's so? Why do you think um, his identity is hidden? Like, people don't really know this guy. But you so much believe in him. Why do you think it's... See, let me tell you something. <clears throat> the, 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 the incumbent, they have the power to control the media flow. Oh, media. Hmm. Yes. Look at the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, presidential debates. Mm -hmm. Look at the flimsy excuses they gave to, to remove him from the, the participating. Mm -hmm. Makes no sense. 
Why would you say, oh, it's not popular? Oh, this, oh, that. Come on. And they also told, spoke about his um, character. Character, what character? <laughs> what, what, what character does Atiku have? Hmm. What character does Buari have? Hmm. What, what, can, what has he done for the so, so Someone who can say his wife belongs to the kitchen and the other room. And I mean, I see, when we keep on sticking to these old people, mm. this old, old idea, mm. it's backward ever. Mm. We don't need to go back again, mm. we need to move forward, you know? Mm. Yeah, because I, I was also in, in, uh, um, I, I was also in uh, um, a conversation with a friend and I was talking to him about Omer Ele Shore and the friend told me, He's just playing around. He should go start from the local government, then he will probably go into um, and the state, the House of Rep, Senate, then become a president. But I asked the question, amongst all of uh, the present presidents and the past, have we, do we have, probably I don't know, probably they've done it in a very low profile that I don't know about. Do we have any of those presidents who actually started from the local government, from the grassroots up, or yeah, I don't because I, I really did not understand what the, that guy meant when he said he should start from the grassroots. Do, do, do you think that is the best um, best way to get our country back from these, like you said, the analog thinkers in the digital world? Did the Buhari start from the local government chairman? He was an ex head of state when he came to the political scene, mm -hmm. the civilian political scene. Mm -hmm. They didn't start from the chairman or whatever the officials that were there. Mm -hmm. They went, they gone for the biggest meets. Mm -hmm. That's the presidency. It doesn't matter where you start from. It depends on your ideas, man. If you're able to manage people, you, you are not corrupt. Mm -hmm. Because most of these recycled leaders are corrupt. Mm -hmm. They're going to lie to you. They say, oh, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. The bright people, oh, vote for me, I'll give you 10,000, 5,000. Come on, man. You're going to spend that 5,000 just one day to sell your birthright, right mm -hmm. your election. Like when we are not in Come on, Esos. you're going to sell your, your votes mm -hmm. because of 5,000? So some don't even get 5,000. If anybody offers so me, some don't even get about 1,000, 1,500. If anybody offers me 5,000, I'm going to take that money and put it in my pocket. I'm not going to vote for that person. Mm. I was shooting vote for that person. Why we, come on, 10,000? That means you're not sure of yourself. Yes. That's why you're trying to find so you. So people should stop being gullible. Mm. You, need to, you need to wise up. Mm. How much is 5,000? How much is 10,000? You're going to spend that money in a sitting. Go to the <laughs> restaurant, buy food, buy this and that. It's gone. It's gone. So you say your, your voting rights, you vote the wrong people. And you suffer for the next four years. Uh, four years. Yeah, that right. cost, that That's country. Hard. That the cost on that country should be reversed, man. That's so you, you should wake up. Mm -hmm. It's the time to wake up, okay? Yeah. Wake yeah. up. That, that's, that's do true. the right thing. That's true. All right. Um, because of our time, because I really don't want um this YouTube to take long. I want you to advise uh YouTube followers on what to do and how to go about the election. Vote with your head. Do the right thing. Vote person that can transform that country. Take your country back. It's the time. 2019 is the time to take your country back. Don't fall for bribes. Don't fall for the same lies. Think. Do the right thing. God bless you. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Um, we'll be talking more about this um, election and we'll be following, like I said, we'll be having a very close follow-up from America here and we'll be bringing in some other very intelligent people like my brother here that will discuss me and my own advice is this to you don't be deceived by whatever they are giving to you like i said use your head you said you know the bible said my people suffer for lack of knowledge the moment some people are getting to hide some truth from you search dig it out and find what is the truth about your country you understand um they're expecting more from us. Um, once again, my name is Tolu David. This is my big bro. And we'll be seeing you again very soon. Thank you. And I'll be here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Out of the darkness you called me. Do you like, give me
the grace to pray.